What's good everyone? Welcome to Bucks Film Room. Today, we are going to do a breakdown on the Milwaukee Bucks' new acquisition, Nikola Mirotic, and how he fits with this team. But first, make sure to subscribe to the Bucks Film Room YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter, at Bucks Film Room, for all of your Milwaukee Bucks content. You can also find my writing at Brew Hoop. Now, back to the regular scheduled programming. Mirotic was brought to Milwaukee because of what he can do on the offensive end of the floor. However, let's quickly touch on his defense abilities as well because he's no slouch. The lazy analyst might say Mirotic is a pushover on defense. That's simply untrue. He certainly has his limitations in what he can do physically, but he gives good effort for the most part. He's also able to use his sneaky length in order to get his hands on the ball when the offense is least expecting it. You can see in these clips how often he pounces on an unsuspecting victim and swipes the ball away from them. Even though he won't be asked to guard premier players at his position, his ability to at least hold his own will go a long way for the Bucks. We saw on Saturday night what he could do against offensive players such as Tyus Jones, Derrick Rose, and Andrew Wiggins. He does a great job here sliding his feet against Jones and gets a subsequent block. Again, he keeps Rose in front of him, disallowing a shot, and it leads directly to a turnover after Rose gives up and looks to kick it out. Lastly, he stays in front of Wiggins on this drive and swipes the ball out of his hands as Wiggins is going up for the shot. It was a great defensive night for the new buck. Alright, now let's get to some of the good stuff. Miritich is another scrappy player the Bucks have added to their team, and he joins the likes of Sterling Brown and Ursan Ilyasova in this category. He's very active on offense and makes defenses pay when they aren't giving him the attention he deserves. He never gives up on this play against the Timberwolves and ends up throwing down the massive putback slam after a missed layup by Malcolm Brogdon. Miritich also has the size and ability to take advantage of switches. This is an important aspect because a team like the Boston Celtics switch everything and the Bucks struggled with them at times in last season's playoffs. Miritich can back down a smaller man in the post and score over him. He has a solid array of post moves even if they don't always look the cleanest. Mirtich's three-point shot is the biggest reason Milwaukee acquired him. He's so good at spacing the floor and will give Giannis that much more room to work with. Mirtich is connecting on 37% of his threes this season and he's dangerous from everywhere on the floor. Here's a shot chart according to StatMuse. Mirtij is equally as dangerous shooting from the corner and that's likely where the Bucks will use him a lot. 9% of his shot attempts have come from the corner, which ranks in the 72nd percentile for his position according to Cleaning the Glass. Furthermore, he's connected on 38% of all corner threes this season. Although that's a far cry from the 52% he made last year when he was with the Bulls, it's still a very respectable number. He specifically likes the left corner, where he's made 45.8% of his attempts this season. Mirtich's quick release is especially problematic for defenses. He has the confidence, willingness, and ability to get a shot off anywhere and any time. He does a great job of loading up before the pass gets there and then quickly firing once he does catch the ball. This is a big reason why he makes 38.1% of his catch and shoot threes. Mirtich also knows no bounds to his distance. He can knock it down from 26 plus feet and do it with consistencies. Some of these attempts are just straight ridiculous. All in all, he will be a huge outside threat for the Bucks as 48.3% of all his points come from behind the arc. The extra floor spacing will be a great weapon for Milwaukee as they look to secure the number one seed and go deep into the playoffs. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel Bucks Film Room and also follow me on Twitter at Bucks Film Room for all of your video breakdowns. Yuck yuck!